excuses. Yeah, you have. You, I, I'm, and yet people tell me they forget to sign up. Every day. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I guess that. so many DMs. Oh, I didn't sign up. I was like, man, you had two weeks. Man, if you if you are waiting for your paycheck to sign up to MSM Zero, it's every two weeks. It's calculatable. It ain't it random. Is, this ain't is, no yeah, RNG. Yeah, yeah. There is a way. All right. Well, we'll see if um, T3 has a way to actually win this one here. It is gonna be Grand T3 sitting on the winner's side. Leo sitting on the losers. Uh, the question of the night here is: SoCal able to able to win this MSM Zero with Leo? Fresh off Genesis win here, and that ladder has a lot to say about it. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, that's that pressing experience. We need one. I'm going to tell you right now. But also, do keep in mind, this is one it, of the... Also, like, it's Leo. Come on. It, it, it's hard. It's I Bel believe. I believe. I believed in Mute. That didn't end so well. I believe in Belmont. I believe in Dom. He's my homie. But let me tell you right now, this is a rough matchup for Belmont. One of his worst ones. Yeah. I mean, we've seen how Leo is able to just understand how T3 is able to edge guard and then punish him for those options that he's so comfortable with. Again, he has to channel that newfound level of being more than consistent to beat Leo here. Be more. Be more than human because Leo ain't human. He's a robot. That was the smartest footstool I have ever seen. He just said, he just put his, he just put his feet on there and said, nah. You going down there! <laughs> and also, that was a foot that was on purpose. Yeah. It's not the one uh, you, it's not the ones you pretend it is. Dom is like, yeah, I got that. Oh. Now, that I was gonna say I'm not too surprised. It's just the fact that we've seen that from Leo time and, uh, before last time these two played. Oh yeah. It took I think I think Honestly, I think it took a majority of the stops. Yeah. The rotor arm, it's such a strong tool, but now... It's also just good because it stops T3 from relying on cross oh no. and forcing Leo to move. He can hold space and then have an active hitbox altogether. Huge. But I love this adaptation for Leo. Remember last time, how many times that Axe was catching on the yeah. air dodge? This time it's just jumping away knowing that it's not going to be true with that up air. Snipes it out there with that recovery, but delaying it out there as well. Really good stuff with the Nair, clipping it out there, trying to get that axe out there, but, oh, the chase down, and that's going to be the up smash, but excellent DI on, on the Belmont's end, but living on borrowed time at this point because of 137 only on Leia, but a whole stock up. It's a very difficult hill to climb. It's <laughs> the biggest hill to climb, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's Leia. You, keep, you always can save that part for last. Mmm, that's reaction time. And that's gonna be the up Oh, wow, nice! That dash was insane. What? Oh, yeah. my. We learned one something there. Never invite Dom to a Mario Party tournament. That man just mashed out of their hoop. <laughs> you put him in Pokey Pummel, it's over. Man, it's, a, it, it's, it's been a minute since I played Mario Party myself. You should. This is a good game. The online's not bad, Copium. Look at this. I, th I think for uh, Jeez. Yeah. That was good match. And the water. Yeah. I th I, so it's the jump here that killed Dom ultimately. Because mm -hmm. there was, like, usually Dom would go for a setup here. We'll have cross, we'll have volley water, have an aerial. But this man just kind of empty hop with almost no purpose. And you have to give Dom a little bit of credit, right? Because he might have been trying to start something, but Leo was able to catch him. You kind of don't want to be above Raw at that point. No, no, for sure. And uh, Leo's playing hot right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. Leo. With off of that momentum Go! with Nito. This is the reason why it's two sets if you're on winner's side. It takes really some time to really gain I mean, back there. But Leo's a different monster with those kind of he things. He is. I mean, he was able to turn things back around on new days when we all thought it was said and done. Everyone, everyone just like activate this backup generator and he just starts, you know, pushing hard. I love that. That was so good. Yeah, trip in reaction. This time being patient on recovery. Great spot dodge on there, knowing that Leo consistently going for them, but both them trading their down specials, their uh, bread and butters, their hold down the neutral, my friends, as well. So, got a stuff on the ledge. And this patience from Leo does not pay off, though. Yeah. Able to finally end out there. That's the problem. You can be patient, but you pick the wrong option at the wrong time. It's over. Uh, I was going to say, good. Able to tech, tech on the platform for our T3. 
there. I love that axe. It's so slow, but it demands attention when it's coming yeah. down that ledge. And you know, the thing is, like, axe has three different throwing ranges. It has close, normal, and then far. So Tom, Dom can definitely change up which position he wants to the axe. So good on there, and forcing out their great option select and coverage on there, but that uh, bear, ooh, it's gonna hurt. It's, it's Yeah, and now for that one, that was the end like of Holy Water. Oh, no, 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 the double toss gets away! That, I mean, Do yeah, Tom narrowly escaped death in that situation. Oh, the up smash, expecting that the cross was gonna hit, but didn't land up there. Thankfully, the down is able to land, so you're able to secure a good amount of damage with the laser to fight back on there. Do you get the conversion? Yes, you do! Dom! Such a handsome lad, oh my goodness, and now got to get away with it. That spot, Iron Dodge being able to burn out there gets the down throw the into the up there. Yes! Leo able to fight it back. Such a back and forth. This is a reminder of the set they just played in Winner's Finals. Yeah. No, Winner's Semis. Oh. oh no. Oh no. I just have a low Leo play as Rob. You know, usually they just kind of wait and they go for another up there. Leo just like, no, I'm cashing out on this up smash damage. Are you kidding me? It's, it's also conditioning. Because at, at this point, with how much you do, Leo understands I'm conditioning my opponent. So I know when I can definitely force them to feel comfortable Investment. with an air dodge. Yeah. And let me tell you, in that sequence, Dom was in disadvantage for a whopping maybe 30 seconds. That was crazy. I think that what's more impressive is like how much one can be in disadvantage for one moment mm -hmm. and that can ruin so much for you oh i know yeah you can lose a whole stock to a whole game you can lose a whole tournament yeah honestly we've seen it happen before but this momentum that had leo currently has right now what is it he just it seemed like the first game the first game was really rough let's be real here second game a little bit better but this is going to have to be the crucial one i know that i don't want dom the way man but for time's sake and for my sanity and my sleep I would love it if Leo could just, you know, call this a 6-0, or if one of them could call it a 3-0. What was that combo? <laughs> what? That was a pro guides combo. I know that because I work for them. Oh, goodness. And now, what do you think of the FD pick? Honest opinion. It's, so wow. no, pla no platform changes things, too, because you don't oh, have, ah, oh, man, that's it. What you're saying? Yeah, no platform changes things. So there's nothing that Dom can hide under. So it's all going to be pretty much just... Combo City against Dom. I just love the the advantage state that Leo just has. It just feels so different. It feels so. It feels like a chokehold. Like you just kind of just trying to scramble around there, but he just keeps yeah. coming at you again and again and again. And even if you get out, you don't even feel safe because now you're in a tech situation. Yeah, and Leo knows what to do in those tech situations too. He can definitely punish you for being in those spots. Good stall from Leo, trying to just bait out all the projectiles. Oh man, getting all this gas like it's. Like and it's not good too, because you don't want to be stuck in the Belmont loop. Yeah. Why at the starting frames of Holy Water? Oh. Holding on to that Holy Water, let me tell you right now, when they when they do that Z drop Nair with your Holy Water, it feels like they're just insulting you. They're like, yeah, I can use this as a gyro too. It's like this this square hole, there we go, that's what I was looking for, but. Dom just getting hit up so much. This punishment is able to, thankfully for the trade, but Leo is quick on the chase, finally able to land the grab and just buries it out there into the up tail, up air. Boom, a bing, out of boom, the bread and butter. Jeez. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. I really just, Dom, um, just gotta try to find some way to make it back, but Leo has just been looking consistently strong and in the down tilt finally. <laughs> I mean, I wish you could see my face right now. I'm just yeah, it's <laughs> that was rough for Dom. I mean, he had the right play because those are options you can do, but unfortunately, like. With the second connection, he was uh, in the I think what happened was is that after the second down to he didn't think it would kill, so threw a cross on the right side. Yeah. But overcompensated too much and died for it. You know what? Reset. Mental reset. We move on to the next set. Oh, yeah. good. This is the second MSM we've had a we've had a reset. I believe. Yeah. 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 yeah no. Yeah. First one was uh, Kairos and Peckham, and that was a reset. And Peckham resetted the bracket. Jesus. Now right, we'll see how this works out onto today and now. 
hopping onto PS2 as a stage pick on choice, and that Nair clipping it out there. Thankfully, the down air is going to land. I love that mix up on there. You're usually going to go for there, but. Oh, no. He caught it too. This, I'm telling you, this is the dodge mode we're talking about. Oh, and even able to get out, stocking up on there. So much damage in the favor of Dom. Oh, cutting it out there. You just, you can't catch Leo slipping like that. He's gonna catch your projectiles left and right. <laughs> Rough trade here on each projectile, but Dom gets the better of it. Mm -hmm. And got it in, in the corner. This, this, this Dom looks way better. This is, this is the Dom I was looking for this entire time. Oh. Goodness, that the tech is so slow. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness, that rate that was almost full rage, honestly. That was just yeah. scary. And let me tell you, I never starting to realize this more and more. The tech chase that on Delmont, it's so free. It, it like it's, it's kind of one of those things also like cause it. You just don't have that many great recovery options. As Belmont, you do have tether and you do have. I'm special, but unfortunately, those are very linear recovery plans in which your opponent can catch you. On top of that, you're just combo. You can also be combo team. Mm -hmm. And if you drift too far, you're, you're putting yourself in a bad spot where Leo is able to actually capitalize you being off That's it. Like, like, like so. Wow, he didn't he didn't finish with rotor arm. This would have not been true. Maybe he's a little scarred from last one. Was able, Dom was able to escape that one confirm, but still a really good confirm. And I'm just able to just barely get away with it. Here comes. Oh, the stalling on Leo is so good, and now Dom trying to secure the stock out there finally does so. Yeah, back here to do it, but unfortunately Leo is back, and he's fighting with a lot of heat so far. Up there? Yeah. That's a re-grab here, oh, and that's rough no. for Dom. Oh, Could be the stock? Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, man. It just... If, if it's like how you said earlier, it feels like you're so close to getting those conversions down, but those small misses, you gotta be more. They're, yeah, they're, they're also adding up too, because Dom is just narrowly, miss, narrowly misses conversions here and there. The thing is, like, if Na Leo is able to get out and then he can just punish you afterwards, it's kind of like you you, you start the plate, but you don't finish the food. Mm -hmm. you, gotta be, you better finish that plate. Yeah. My goodness, but now that even that small window of gyro is able to find their way sneak through when the cross is being thrown out there. And I love that feint to try to pick up that gyro trick and out there. What a conversion! So aware! Dom excellently done, but Leo is quick on the chase right now. Sharking up there with those up airs, trying to grab the other and even the crowd just under the fair! Oh, great air dodge too. He, he knew he knew out was coming a mile away. Uh, great stall it's a down. Recap. It's so crazy that you can do that with Rob of all characters. You can miss an, uh, you can down throw your opponent at higher percents, miss an up tilt, chase them yep, down, yep, do yep, it again. Like, yep, yep. I would use a different, I would use a different word that starts with a C though to describe it. You say CR crazy, I say CR cringe. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you now, Dom, you know, kind of simmering right there, trying to figure out a plan because this momentum is quickly getting away from him. You also have to respect Dom and Leo. I mean, like I said, both of these guys came to SoCal after Genesis. Like, they're, both they're, yeah, they're, they're both tired. They're both tired, yeah. And they're still... Even I am tired, man. I will, I will not front that. And yet they're still coming forward and giving us the best damn show we've seen for Smash. Like, oh, no. Okay, we we they they were uh, they were giving us the best show for this match. Well, one of them, one of them is, uh, one of them is. Yeah, my man. Rare mistake on Dom's end, so really got to make up for it, honestly, in the up throw. This time using the fair as well, trying to end something now, but that's a huge mistake. It's gonna be costly. Costly indeed. And here comes the up. Throw. I really love this innovation with the up throw. That, yeah. That's how you know Dom's been practicing. Hitting up that lab, making sure what to do, what not to do, and how I'll, this whole works. I'll throw it's good for Belmont because it sets you it sets you up in a situation where you can have time to set up mm -hmm. your uh, projectiles on the ground, but also it forces you to actually just reset the neutral and a juggle situation where you can read us an air dodge as well. What I also really like is um, whenever that rotor arm is haunting him, huh? It's it's good because like if Dom decides to go for a cross to use that force Leo to move. Leo can stay in place, drop down that robot arm, and then catch Dom, but also avoid the cross as well at the same time. 
I'm gonna tell you, I think one of the coolest instruments that Dom really has, especially with the, the Holy Water, it, and then the Dragged Out in Air. Yeah. Uh, after watching Squid Plumber's amazing run, uh, I think something we like kind of both notice is that Squid Plumber loves doing Dragged Out in Air into immediate up B when Dom always likes to grab. Yeah. So you realize that we can use that a lot more, and the grab is still very strong. Keep that in mind when you get them, but you should also know that when it's presented is when it doesn't work out, and I just love how Dom just, you know, incorporates both of them because honestly, you gotta oh. learn, and but that's just such a rough angle to work with that laser. Yeah, and it, it's also good. So in that situation, Dom could have made it back on the stage. It's just the fact that he he kind of held that down a little bit too hard. Yeah. Gonna have to try to do it out there. Honestly, if you get this ledge trap correctly, this might be huge and able to catch it out there. That axe, I love it. Not supposed to kill. It demands an answer though. Yeah, he needs his edge guard. Nice. Yeah, and he's able to finally get his 14%. Dom not out of it just yet. Well, strikes back one more time with an up tilt. He's gonna carry this man across the stage. I like the fact that he like it's one of those things of like if if I'm you, telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's one of those things of like Leo knows that if he tries to di away after that combo, he can just wait for him to be there. Big. I expected it to hit, but it was just oh. Yeah, and Dom shakes his head. He's not happy with that one here. Leo up two oh. Possibly just gonna end the night here with a 30 in the handshake. We'll see so far. Does Dom have anything to say about it or is he out of strength? I feel like that's what it might be coming down to. I believe it. Dom is really close to that. That was a lot of like the bad days and also the SD. Yeah. And still it was close. If Dom's able to kind of pull that together, there's definitely a possibility, but it's gonna be up to him to make that because you're facing against the final boss. Mr. Genesis, Mr. Everything, Mr. King, Mr. Demon. We're going to have to see how it works out there and see how it works out into this game because Dom not giving up just yet. I mean, the pressure that he just put Leo right there on the platform all together on shield for Leo to move. Mm -hmm. But on Dom, I do like the fact that he's slowly starting to use up special a little bit more just to kind of break the mold, especially when Leo's too close. Case in point here. And really good stuff on that end. And Kind of starting off strong. Excellent usage of the bear. That aerial timing doing an excellent thing. And oh, that axe once again forcing it out there. These grabs, this advantage state looking way more alive, looking way more like the Dom that I know. Yeah, 139 here. Leo at 140. Dom untouched. He's still, I mean, I was saying this guy is asleep, but you know what? He's still got fighting. All right, good for Leo to wait out all the projectiles here. Finally able to earn himself back. There's uh -oh. the punish afterwards. Can you get the reset here? I'm narrowly missing it, but yeah. I still like the fact that he went for upright to see if Dom was going to jump from the platform, which oh, no. most players would try to get away from. Whoa, these panic uses of the downers. you got to be careful. That advantage they just cashed out at 100% and trying to fish it out there. That wasn't the weak. That was a weak hit, so not the strong. Trying to get it out there. Great usage of Aaron, knowing that the, air, that the defensive option was going to come out there. I love the usage of the reflector, but now these axes demanding some respect. Demanding something to be done for them, but that quick fair gotta be really careful on that Dom, but that L uh, on the goal. Oh, great, great mash. mash! Yeah. Not the best option in return, but. Like I said, Dom is making me eat my own words. I, I said this guy was pretty much done for the night, but you know what? He's got fight in him. Oh, yes, baby. Able to get it out there. Finally able to get that axe that's gonna land that kill, and here comes the big damage! Oh, doesn't miss on the problem, but Cash got a quick 50%. And if you're Dom, you're quite happy with this one. But you got to hold on for dear life. Able to get That's it out there, but case, knew yeah. that the no mash mix up was going to come into play. And Leo able to quickly get it out there. It's conditioning too, because you don't want to get you don't want to get down tilt tech chased. That's why Dom opted for to get up roll inwards rather than get up roll outwards. But reaction time, able to yeah. get it out there, but the neutral there, but able to finally get away with it this time. But the quick air dodge, trying to reset back into that neutral. The down tilt, thankfully. Leo wasn't fast enough in order to punish that one out there. Great parry on Dom's end. You got to be careful. And there's, I love that risky. You were kind of talking about earlier how he always wants to roll back in. But this time, Dom, knowing that Leo's going to be quick on the search, decides to roll out. Here comes the axe in between. But nope, still going to be staying alive. And Dom, once again, using that quick up B. I love the usage of it. Way strong. Oh, yes. Narrowly catching him after with the holy water, too, as well. Um, wow! I did not see that coming. Uh -huh. Ugh, that's a stock. Yeah, it was just a platform extension as well. Such a strong thing. So Dom, 
holding on for dear life. I love that just the immediate reaction time saying, yes, you're in the air. My up is able to come up fast enough. Yes, get off and get that quick amount of damage because it quickly stacks up fast. And Dom trying to cash it out there. Really good stuff in that holy water. They're able to get it out there. Fighting for this stage control. The holy water can be blocking out there. I love that sitting of a wall. Oh, goodness. Here it comes. This is really important for their trick oh, this stuff. No strong hits, though. Got the conversion! Yes, he does! And what a change up from Tom. He still had to fight him after all. He, it's going to be 2 1. You know what, what he says? You're, you may be Mr. Genesis, but I know the Bible. <laughs> I know that verse. I know that chapter. Oh, my God. That was kind of bars, wasn't it? I don't um, know you know what, man? It's your bars. <laughs> I'm not judging your bars. Okay. I'm not judging your bars. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, 2 1 here in Leo's favor. Well, Dom able to finally pull up some points, but slow also. The, slow really the chat. Just... No one 6 0s, Dom. <laughs> I wanted a 6 0, man. I'm trying to go home. Nah, now nah, we get game. We might get game five now because Dom's not out of I but, hope not. But remember, this is the stage that actually Leia was able to just kind of. I'm going to say it right now. Brutally beat up Nito on. Remember that? Yeah, but that's Nito. This, we're talking about Dom here. I know, but this stage can be it's quite favorable for Rob. It's also very good. It's quite. It can. I think it's. Honestly, it's even for both characters. They both benefit from being in the stage. Able to make it out there, such really good stuff. And hold on, here it comes. Trying to get something out of the ledge trap, but okay. Both of them shielding out there. I love this patience on there, knowing that you can't get down to the one that jar was in prime position for yeah. maximum damage. And then good for Leo to kind of follow Dom and then double jump to avoid the projectiles. But Dom was able to sense that out here and still punish him afterwards. Oh wow, that just damage just landed up fast. He knew the roll was coming, my goodness, and here stock. it comes. Oh, oh, I stand corrected, Leo, finishing it off. Man. Oh, goodness gracious. And now, try and land this damage down. Missed. Up, he has to be big damage, but no, only gets one there. Didn't have the gyro in hand. Couldn't cash no. out on it. Oh, what? I, I like the fact that so far, quite a few times, we've been able to see Dom catch MKLeo from a spot dodge going using Holy Water. But it's also the distance. Had MKLeo be close, that would be a much scarier option. Oh no, look at that boxing option. No, that's it. What? Oh, Wait, no, I think he might have just let go of Tether at that point. Tether canceled and unfortunately just could not. Oh, but able to cash it out though with the down smash at least. See how this works out there, but Dom, that was a huge mistake, Vance. No. That was a no, huge, oh, okay. thank goodness. I was like, not like this, please. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, what to do so much on there and the drag down there. I love that knowing that the spot dodge it's going to be working out because, because like, yes, yeah, spot throws, you delay your aerial, you can get the hit. If they shield, you hit their shield so it's safe, and now you're able to get that stage control in the space. Yes, he knew! He had to go something again! He gets the cross-up with the Uppy! Turns Mr. Genesis into Mr. Exodus! My goodness, ex escorting him into the skies! And now this is exactly what Dom's going to need, but he's got to hold on to this. That's the problem. Oh, nice. Oh, no. He caught him after the end lag of the holy water, able to punish. But also the range at which Leo can punish that is really important if you're too far off. Now, Dom, this clutch factor needs to come in huge right now and great usage of the Uppy. Excellent stuff, and now you got to be really careful trying to use it out. That barely misses again, even the crowd saying, Oh, whoa, I'm there one. There we go. Got to get out for your life. He had the gyro in hand. That's why he couldn't go for the Uppy. But what wow. a read on that one and that is gonna be it. MK Leo will be your winner of MSM2 from that loose side with that Rob, the solo Rob, and everyone's giving a round of applause in there as well. Wow. I'm, I'm, that was good from Leo. I, I have to give him the credit. Like, he, he chased it up last minute and Dom was just not ready for that. He threw gyro.